Okay, so let me write that down. Delta Y divided by Delta X is actually equals to my um, minus six over four, right? So if we can simplify that more, that would be divided by two and then divided by two. So basically it's going to be uh, minus three over two. So this is going to be my slope. <laughs> Dear viewers, today I'm going to show you something very cool that you will need in every aspect of your life if you are a student of math. So what is it I'm going to show you? Today I'm going to show you a slope. So what is actually a slope? A slope, let me write it a little bigger so you can all see. The slope is equals to delta y by delta x. Let me write that down. Delta y by delta x. I know delta is a Greek letter, but what do I mean Basically, by delta y and delta x? Basically, uh, I mean change, change in y over the change in x. y2, but our previous position was y1. Then, to find the change, we have to subtract them. Similarly, divided by for the x, if our, like, the uh, position that we have now present is x2, then the previous one is x1 then subtract them and you get the change so this is exactly what i mean this is exactly how you will find out a slope now i will show you in real life with this graph so now i'm going to find the slope from this graph let's say i just hold any point for example this and i'll draw a line through that let's say up to here okay so now if I just hold any point, like for example, this point, for example, one, two, three, towards my X, and then again, one, two, three, towards my Y, I will reach that point. So very quickly, remember that I told you that my slope is the change in Y divided by the change in X? Well, I'm going to show you, I'm going to prove that to you now, because a change in Y, we just figured, the change, in, the change in y was actually equals to three, and then and then our change in x was actually equals to three also. So when we do it, three divided. Okay, let me write it bigger for you just you guys to see. Three divided by three is actually equals to one, right? So that means that my slope in this graph, right, in this line, was actually one. So this is how you figure out the slope from the graph. Now I'll show you how to figure out a graph from the original slope. So now let's say that my slope is actually, let's say minus three, but my coordination is going to be four minus two, let's say, okay? So that means here, x is 4 so 1 2 3 4 this is going to be my 4 and 1 minus 2 is right here so that means this is actually going to be my coordination point so 4 and then minus 2 right here now remember i told you that our slope was minus 3 well how do you figure that out well this is actually minus 3 by 1 that means that the y is minus 3 and the x is 1 so let's go x by 1, we reach here, and then y minus 3, that means we go down. So from here, we go 1, 2, 3, down, and we will reach right here. So this is our slope. Let me just draw a line. There we go. That is actually my slope. So that means my, let me write it again, my slope is equal to minus 3. And this is how we are going to find it on our graph because we already have the slope and you have to find the point of the coordination, then you have to follow the rules that, oh, so this is going to be my change in y. So that means if I just go one right here and do towards the x and then minus three down, it's going. I'm going to find my slope. So this is act exactly how you do it. So now I'm going to show you a slope from two points. Let's say that my first pair of coordinations is going to be one and then minus one. My second pair is going to be 5 and then minus 7. 
So I'll show you that in the graph now. 1 minus 1. That means my x is 1 and my y is minus 1. If my x is 1, my y is minus 1. That ba basically means that my point is right here. Now, 5 minus 7, which is the other one. 5 is going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 right here. And minus 7 is going to be down. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And so you just go like minus 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 right here. Okay, let me check again. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 for the x, correct? And then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 right there. Minus 7 actually. Okay, and so now that I have found my two points, I'm just going to connect them so that you guys can all see the slope in between them. Almost there, but basically this is almost like my slope. Now I'm going to show you that in math. Remember I said that delta y is equals to y2 minus y1? Well, see about that. Delta y is equals to my second y is minus 7. And then minus my first y is minus 1. So that means minus 1. Okay. When you figure that out, y is equals to minus 7. Minus times minus makes plus 1. And so equals to minus and plus makes minus so we have to minus so it's going to be six and the greatest sign is minus for the greatest number the sign is minus so it's basically minus six delta y is equal to minus six now let's figure out delta x so delta x is equals to uh, my second x minus my x1 so my second x is five minus and then that's just one basically my is x equal to 4 okay okay so let me write that down delta y divided by delta x is actually equals to my um minus 6 over 4 right so if we can simplify that more that would be divided by 2 and then divided by 2 so basically it's going to be uh, minus 3 over 2. So this is going to be my slope. So since this is the slope that I got, I will prove this in the graph. So let's say that our, uh, uh, y, my, our y is minus 3. So basically... It's the y minus 3 now. The change of y is minus change 3. Change of y. So, so, now so now let's change... Say, so now let's say that our change in my, is y is minus 3. About. So now let's say that our change in y is minus 3. So if we do that, minus 1, 2, 3, that will meet up right here, right? And then our change in x is 2. So 1, 2. And as you can see, the point matches right here. So I'm basically correct. Now I'll show you from the other way around. Here let's say that this time reverse that our change in y is 3. Not minus 3, not negative 3, but 3. So that means 1, 2, 3, and then our change in x is minus 2, not positive 2, but negative 2, minus 2. So it means we reached here, 1, 2. As you can see, this is my point, as you can see, this is actually matching. So this is how I prove that this is actually going to be my slope. I hope you all understood this lesson about the slope very clearly. Thank you, and I said I'm ready.